JJ, good morning. What's going on, young man? December 31st, 1918. 2018, only 100 years off. <laughs> well, at least it's a clean number. Uh, well, <laughs> uh, Easy to add and subtract, that's baby. That's right. If I said 1915, wait a minute. We better stop the recording on this. Anyway, so the question to start off today is, um, what did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, so far, just uh, an espresso coffee. Oh. Uh, you know, um, so I haven't actually indulged in uh, any kind of uh, nourishment yet today, although, you know, first thing in the morning, the coffee is essential. I was going to say, um, that is nourishment in some form. That is Absolutely. The magic nourishment. <laughs> uh, well, that's good. Well, that's good. Um, yeah. So what's on your mind today? You know, yesterday we had a long chat, as we typically do. And we kind of really get off topic quickly on yeah, stuff. Yeah, easy. But uh, we were talking about Gary V, Gary Vaynerchuk, yep. who, um, interesting dude. And, you know, just talking about trying to get our message out to uh, as many people as possible and trying to do it on all the different social platforms so that we're not causing friction. We're not causing friction for people to consume our stuff. Which right. kind of got me thinking a little bit about our own, the way that we teach tennis. And I think too often, the way we teach causes a lot of friction. I would agree with that. Well, I think. why don't you do more than agree with that? Why don't you, <laughs> ex, is it expound, expand, or do expand. something else with it? Elaborate, yes. elaborate. Elaborate. Yes. Um, I think the friction that's caused is 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 the initial the the initial thought process. I think for most, uh, and again, that's a general statement for most pros out there, is to fix it. So the student comes to the pro. I got a problem with my forehand, and kind of like taking your car to the mechanic. I got to get in there. I got to get the wrenches out. I got to get something going and I got to undo a bolt. I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to fix it and then hand it back to the person. And I think that that kind of thought process is so, so mechanical. And yet if you're talking to a 3-0, a 3-5 player, 4-0, 4-5s even, the process is so mechanical in the fix that that level of player doesn't have the feel yet to actually translate the word fixes. They don't understand how to translate the wrench that you're using to fix the forehand. So unless there's some sort of established baseline of feel, some sort of word that's used other than hit the ball in front or um, brush up on the ball, those are all wonderful words to use, um, unless the person can experience First, what that is, I think, I think that causes just a tremendous amount of friction in the learning process and the learning curve. That that the learning curve becomes this slow grind of of this, uh, you know, this slow pitch <laughs> up this long hill. That it's like you never quite see the summit because there's there's always something else out there in front of you that isn't quite right. So I'm going to have to get that fixed too. Um, so anyway, to make a long story short, I think I think the friction is caused because the fix initially is always assumed to be mechanical. Yeah. Well, I think the first thing you said is that student goes out and the and and the pro looks at it that way. I've got to fix this problem, and I think some of that comes from we as teaching pros go well. We have to justify our our fee. We are charging this right. person something. So so we have to come up with a solution. I mean, that's kind of our understanding right. of what, you know, you're going to give me money and I'm going to give you a fix. Right. And give you an answer. Some co some sort of answer in some form or fashion. Here's an answer. That's right. And and it could be that, that the answer is simply uh, Janie or Jimmy or Mr. Mr. <laughs> James. Uh you're just, you got the swing, you got the right stroke, because I can sit here and I can underhand feed 10 balls to you, and geez, I haven't said a word and the problem is fixed, 
the problem is is we and we haven't said anything and yet i've uh uh i haven't done anything i haven't really said, done anything so the friction to me is with the words as opposed to convincing this person that if you'll create the right spacing with your feet as i'm doing here with the feet i'm actually creating the spacing for you so the swing is frictionless right but during the points you don't really put enough emphasis enough priority on that spatial distance that your feet should be creating boy listen to me now i'm really into the fix it mode right oh my god <laughs> i'm even sort of getting a little nervous on it but but to try to convince them it's not so much with with the swing that it's really just it's just that you've got you've got a good enough swing as it is right now right if you have the right spatial relationship to the path of the incoming ball so yeah um yeah i i i think i think that's right is that the friction's caused with initially i've got to i've got to be verbose here i've got to talk i've got to be able right. to deliver an answer and yeah. even what would be better would just simply be i think the old galway deal which would be well just watch this don't analyze it don't pick it apart but right. uh i've i've heard where you feel like you're experiencing a problem just want you to watch this and it gets it gets back to the whole visualization thing the student being able to just copy and mimic and right. and model which gets down to especially with the young teaching pros fellas and gals can you actually show your 55 year old 3-0 <laughs> mother of three kids how to not hit a full western topspin forehead if right. you, if you can't demonstrate that then then you're going to demonstrate how to do this thing that's probably going to break them right i mean is is that is that a logical you know there is such emphasis today on the modern forehand and and um Roger Federer, Djokovic, Serena, you name it, pick pick a top player, you know, uh, out there. And I think uh, the emphasis on that is so over, overdone, overemphasized, that is it really a logical step in, in a player's development, a ladies 3-5 player who's playing in day league, who's been a 3-5 for 15 years, and she's she's happy. She's playing tennis, and she enjoys her friends that she has in her three five group, and that's really really where she's at. Um, but yet she's going to come out and take a lesson. And your first thought is to throw. You know what? If we could just get a little bit more of that grip around, and we could get a little bit more of that windshield wiper going, and turn that ball over. Uh, I. I think, you know, we're asking for something that is so far off the reservation and so far down a rabbit hole in terms of shouldn't be we be figuring out a way for this gal to enjoy the game a little bit more with what she has. And and can you actually navigate that conversation when she says something doesn't feel right on my forehand and the initial contact is to, again, fix it but you're going to fix it your way as opposed to looking at the mechanics of what she's been doing for the last 20 years and saying, you know what, this just takes a little tweak here. This just takes, again, even going back to spacing, you know, if, if you prep and you get your hands away from your body just a little bit more, feel like, feel like you're holding the racket away from your body a little bit. Are you talking but, to me about my forehand, Jeff? Wow. It could be a little subliminal going in there. <laughs> just, just a little, maybe. You know, if you get your hands out of your pockets, Brent, when you make your turn, you might feel like you can break an egg with the forehand, okay? <laughs> okay. Where is the unrecord button? Let's see. Yeah, where uh, is it? <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. Did I say that um, out loud? Um, anyway, you know, I think, I think without that consideration, you're doing yourself and your, and your student, your client, a disservice. Is that, is that everybody athletically mechanically works slightly different 
Sometimes there's actually a reason for it, a shoulder injury, an elbow injury, and there's an impingement there. And maybe the injury was so long ago that the person doesn't even think about it, but the range of motion is what it is. It, there is no windshield wiper coming. We can wish for that all day long, but it ain't going to happen. Well, and, 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 and why would you? I'm sorry, go ahead. But that doesn't mean that their forehand can't be improved and, you know, by 5, 10, 15 percent even just simply by by attacking a different aspect of it by, hey, can we can we improve the spacing a little bit? Can we improve how fast we prepare a little bit? You know, does does five percent make a difference? Five percent is what separates winning and losing a match. So, you know, where does that five percent fall? So I think I think overall, you know, we, we uh, industry wise we're a little, I think, over overdone on the, you know, modern forehand, um, you know, that has well, to be. It, it, yeah, yeah, and it gets back to what we're talking about with friction is I think we, we, we end up creating too much friction with, with, with our students. And I was going to say, as I was trying to interrupt you there, um, with the windshield wiper thing that, <laughs> look, wherever we're playing, it's not raining. We don't it's need, not, it's not right. raining anywhere. It's not snowing. It's not raining. We don't need the wiper. Right. Rain, rain X and Bosch don't put out <laughs> tennis rackets, right? They don't make tennis rackets. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Cool. All right. All right. Well, so we're going to wrap this up for today. Uh, and I would say that the, the, the theme or the, or the, the takeaway is um, that the friction part is we overteach. And I think we overteach because, yeah. and, and, you know, I'm giving everyone a break on this. I think we overteach because we're accepting dinero. And we feel like if we're right. going to accept money, we have to be really active in, in terms of dispensing some information. And and it just, it gets in the way, causes friction. Yes, indeed. I agree. So, all right, JJ. Well, listen, man, uh, be safe out there today, tonight, New Year's Eve uh, yeah. of, two, of, of, of 1918. I, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, so... Let's um, let's put a cap on it, right? Put it put it in a bag and uh, call it good, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. And we'll move into 2019 <laughs> tomorrow. Yeesh. Yeesh. All right, dude. All right, All listen. Right, have a great day. All right, guys. <laughs> thank you for hanging out with us today, JJ. What's the first thing that we want everyone to do right now in the video? Like us because we're just so dang likable, and subscribe <laughs> because. Because we're so, sub but we're subscribable, we're likable. Uh, how about share, shareable? Share it, share it, absolutely. If there, we if got a good beat, we're easy to dance to. Any buttons you can find, just start pounding away, just start Press clicking them. away. Press them, push them, click them, send them, whatever it takes. Okay, all right.